go, it's Joby Gladson of Behemoth Brewing and I'm back in Auckland. I really enjoyed my trip down to Wellington, drank lots and lots of good beer. Um, the missus got a bit off tap the one night as well. Such a lightweight. Letting down the team. Um, it's actually Paul Wicksteed's uh, fault. <laughs> he gave way too much good beer. She can't handle it. The wuss. But yes, we got to see Mr. Paul Wicksteed on the Friday night. He he gave he, he got us a very nice sampling platter, which I didn't get video of. Sorry guys. Uh, but he did, so hopefully he'll put some up of it if he's in a kindly mood. Um, yeah, it was a spectacular weekend. I really, really like Wellington. Really great place. Lots of good brew brew pubs there. Um, Speaking of which of Shigosaki, if you're down there, get this place. This place is awesome. Definitely one of our favorite places. We spent quite a bit of time there and money, but damn good. This is also where uh, we got the sampling platter, and this is where the missus got a little bit off tap. That wasn't where I got a little bit of tap. I got a little bit of tap at the little beer quarter. This is where it started. <laughs> Great beer. And if you want to see what beers I drank, um, if you're on, I think they have a web page and maybe an app for Android, but there's definitely an app for iPhone. It's called Untapped. It's like a social network for your boozing, so you can see you keep track of what you you're drinking. Have a look for me on there. I'm Chubby Glutton Brew. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just it's an easy way for me to remember what I drank, so I don't have to go, don't drink that. At least now I got a bit of weight, but now you can see what I actually drank down there. But we were pretty lucky, um, they got a lot bigger variety of craft beers down in Wellington compared to here in Auckland. So I had to send myself a little package back up. A little care package. A little care package, 8 kilograms worth. Ooh, I was walking a bit funny after paying for that postage, but I got it. So some of the brews I got. <clears throat> You might have seen this one before. I've talking, I've spoken about this one, but this is the 16-year reserve. It's the old Dubba, Dubba, some Scottish thing. I think Basic Q will be able to tell me better how you say that. Um, I love this beer. It's a great one. I've had the 8-year. I've got the 12-year, and now I've got the 16-year. Um, can't get them here anymore, so I'm holding on to this one and the uh, 12-year uh, just for a little bit more because I really enjoy this beer. I really do. Uh, what else did I get? Got myself a dogfish, dogfish head, 60 mint IPA. I've heard great things about it, so I'm looking forward to trying it out this weekend. It looks a bit, if you can see through it, it looks a bit flo uh, flo flo flomey. Flomey. Brain farts, yet again. Foamy. It's because I, just, I literally just got the package today, so it was a bit, and I had to catch the bus, so it's a bit shook up. So, looking forward to that. That's going to be drunk this weekend. Um, also got a Southern Tier Special Harvest Ale. Now this is, I think, brewed in America somewhere. I'm not sure where. I won't say and be wrong. So, but I got the Special Harvest Ale. Uh, you, uh, I'll speak about another beer here in a minute that we tried of theirs, and I absolutely loved it. And the missus pretty much blew a top off. She enjoyed it so much. So I saw this one. I was like, I can't get it up here in Auckland, so I got it again. <clears throat> I'm going as fast as I can. I know people, you don't want to have too long videos, so I'll try and do as best I can. Um, I will. I am editing. The, well, I'm going to start editing the Wellington um, video. I'll try and get it out as soon as possible, and I'll try and keep it short. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So let me know. Um, also, when I was down in uh, Wellington, I tried one of these beers, uh, or not this particular, but this uh, brewery, Tuatara. I've always seen it, I never tried it, um, but then this weekend I did try, I tried the a Triple, and wow, it's a fantastic beer. I can really see why um, Paul goes crazy about these guys and really enjoys them, because they make good beers. So I got this one, the Waimea uh, Hopcat, because I haven't seen this one up here, so I had to give me one of these. And so those are the bottled beers I got. We drank a lot more down there, and I wish I could get more, but... Time and money was not on my side. <clears throat> Another one of the few places I wanted to go to was uh, a brewery called uh, Parrot Dog. I really enjoy their beers. Um, these are the fellas. Great place. Uh, they In Wellington, you can go into them. They've got a brew pub. You can get some beers. A 
fantastic uh, bunch of guys. We ha we're lucky enough to speak to one of the brewers, Matt, of Matt, Matt and Matt. Great guy. Uh, even if he was a bit busy, he did speak a bit about homebrew with me, so I appreciate him taking the time out. He even let me put my head around the, the corner and have a look at their brewing setup. Wow, that's all I can say. It makes a vast difference compared to my one pot wonder. But yeah, so we've got a few of those. He threw the, some of those in. And we couldn't go and visit and not come back with some beer. So we bought some beer. And this is why I had to ship back. We got a few of <clears throat> these bad boys. We got 1.5 liters of some beer. This is the, their wheat beer called Scarecrow. We can't get this up here in Wellington. Oh, I can't get in Wellington. I'm really living there. I'm just, I'm just really living there, it seems. Uh, we can't get this up here in Auckland. So I had to get some of this. This is their wheat beer called Scarecrow, as I already said. Fantastic wheat beer. I'm not a big fan of their uh, wheat beers, but this was really, really nice. And because we couldn't get up here, I had to get that much more. So got one of those. But we also got some more. We got some of this one. And this is their dog. There's a, I think it's a 3.5% uh, beer, the session beer, and it's not lacking in flavor. There's some weird dinosaur shit happening around here. <laughs> and now my cat's going to kill it. So yes, got dog. It's 3.5% um, ABV. Fantastic beer. Um, it tastes really great. It's another one that the missus tasted and was like, yeah, give me 1.5 liters. It wasn't even like a second sip, nothing, it was just give, give. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. But I was also lucky enough, and the missus bought me a pair of dog glass. So I'm pretty chuffed about that. My glass selection is coming along quite nicely. So there's another one to add to my collection. But this is, unfortunately, we didn't get to actually try some of their beers. But on, I think, the Saturday night, we went to go out and go and get some food, and we happened upon uh, a brewery called Black Dog and Co. Black Black Dog Brew and Co. I didn't have any money, so I couldn't really try any their beers. But what I did get is two of their little tasting glasses. And I thought this would be fantastic for us to share these big brews and just have little sips. And so I got two of these, so I was pretty chuffed with that. And that's my haul, actually. Um, Forgot one. Huh? You forgot one. What? The Southern Tier IPA. Oh. <sighs> Last but not least, guys. Last but not least, this one. This is the one that blew the missus' head off. It's um, also a Southern Tier, so it's an American brew, but it's their unearthed double IPA. Uh, we first tried it on the tasting platter that uh, Paul was so kindly got for us, and. Wow, guys, seriously, it's like drinking hopped honey. It's just a fantastic brew. Um, actually, give me that. Don't put me on camera. Don't, no, don't, no, 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 don't put me on camera. You're in camera, you're in camera. Come on, speak about it. Sorry, guys, please pardon the hair. I did not expect to be on camera. It's humid and I've been cooking, so I probably look like a serious crazy cat lady, but anyway. So here we go, the Unearthly IPA by Southern Tier. Amazing, amazing, amazing. From the first sip, it was, oh my god. So tasty, so good. As Mr. Chubby said, like, molten honey. I would drink this every day of the week if I could. Good stuff. Uh, so, that's our trip down. Uh, expect a video coming soon. Can't get a good camera person for love or money. So yes, that was our trip down. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I want to go back. There's so many brew pubs we didn't get to try. And so many beers we didn't get to try. But that's my little uh, um, booty that we got down there. Um, thank you very much for all my new subscribers. I do appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. Um, I <clears throat> thanks a lot guys for your positive feedback on my logo. I am working on maybe trying to get some shirts printed with the logo on, so um, please buy my shirts, <laughs> need money. <laughs> uh, now I will let you guys know, I'm hoping to get a, a few things out there that um, you guys will be able to buy, and any money I make off that will go straight into the brew, so 
keep Behemoth Brewing going. So, I hope you guys all have a great week. I got a long week to go, I got more deadlines. And yeah, deadlines, it's like balls. Leaving that and that message. So guys, remember, if you can drink beer, keep it epic, keep it metal, just drink fucking beer. Cheers guys. <laughs>